Rob Hirschfeld, CEO and co-founder of RackN, and this is an introduction to RackN Digital Rebar. We're going to do this in three parts, talking about why Digital Rebar, the full infrastructure is code lifecycle, and then finally a deep dive into the Digital Rebar architecture. So let's begin in our first section, why Digital Rebar. As a background, rebar is the structural steel added to concrete. It's actually the very first thing that goes into building a foundation, even before the concrete, because it's what makes the concrete strong, robust, and durable. And for us, that means infrastructure is code. And when we build digital rebar, we're actually building the foundations of all of the infrastructure that gets built on and added around it. Why are we so focused on infrastructure as code in this case? because it's based on decades of working in infrastructure operations and asking critical questions, like how do we reduce toil in running systems? How do we improve collaboration between operators? And how do we manage complexity better? Those three questions and those core concepts are really at the element of why RackN builds digital rebar. It is our motivating principle. And a matter of fact, it's really our mission to work with our customers across the industry to reduce toil, improve collaboration, and manage complexity. So we do this by being very specific and deliberate in how we do design. By reducing toil, we're working to look in built-in reusability so that components work quickly out of the box, help standardize operations so that multiple teams in an organization can share work, can reuse pieces, so our customers are actually doing automation in standardized ways over and over again. And then understanding that exceptions to operation are not forks. In that sense, we don't want somebody to say, I have to do this in a slightly different way and create a complete copy. Exceptions should be very minimal and contained in how things work and not change a lot of the overall place just to handle one difference. Systems are naturally complex. Collaboration is one of the cores for infrastructure as code, and we do that by finding ways to improve the modularity of everything we do, have high reuse so that you can plug in different pieces that you get working and keep them involved, upgrade and patch as you go. To focus on end-to-end -end collaboration, we find this over and over. Our customers, the industry as a whole, has a lot of different siloed expertise, either by expertise or work product, and by building pipelines, we actually improve end-to-end -end integrations, have people working together better. And that creates amazing outcomes. And finally, we look at how we can manage complexity. And we're not trying to eliminate complexity or find the simplest solution. In our environments, they are complex. They have needful complexity. And so our job is to find ways to manage that. That does things like using immutability so that we can build a system and rebuild a system very easily to improve the observability so that when something breaks, we can actually figure out what and how and why and fix and troubleshoot it. Less magic in the system actually doesn't eliminate the thing that is complex, but it makes it more human understandable. That's what managing complexity means. And finally, we embrace heterogeneity. So instead of pretending that we can eliminate complexity by picking just one thing or simplifying, we actually work the opposite direction. And we look for common patterns where reuse is high, where understanding can be high, but accept that those systems have differences that are useful. And we build systems to help manage those useful differences so that you can take advantage of them, of them as a business imperative. So all of this together, really allows us to look at infrastructure as code as a straightforward business advantage philosophy that builds process over silos. We know that our customers have great tools and we help integrate them together. We know that they have great people who really understand their jobs, but need better equipment to collaborate. And finally, we know that they have great vendors, whether it's hardware or cloud or services that they subscribe to but we can help them be more consistent in how they are applied and used across their organization. All of this together means that we are working to bring infrastructure as code process and governance as the primary value. Now, we have a market-leading technology platform in Digital Rebar, and that's incredibly important. 
but it's only important to the extent to which it helps our customers improve their process and governance. It allows them to collaborate, reduce toil, manage complexity. That's the heart of making a great infrastructure as code platform. If you're interested in trying this out, we've made it incredibly easy to self-trial Digital Rebar to see for yourself how the systems interact together, how we build better tooling around infrastructure that reduces toil, improves collaboration, and manages complexity. And I'm inviting you to take a look at it. Go straight to portal.racken.io and we'll guide you through the learning. Or check out the second video in this series where we're going to talk more about what Digital Rebar does.